Psalms 119, verses 113 to 120. Sonic. The wicked and the word. I hate vain thoughts. Vain being empty, worthless, daydreaming. And thoughts can lead to sin. Thoughts can, you know, you don't have to commit adultery, Jesus. You just have to think about it. Thoughts could be about yourself, lifting yourself up. Vain thoughts. But thy law do I love. So the word of God is completely opposite from vain thoughts. <clears throat> there are probably men who thought when they sat down with the Bible to change it. There are thoughts of men who, just, who wanted to build a religion. And they are vain. Only the words. You judge everything by the word. <clears throat> Thou art my hiding place and my shield. <clears throat> the run to the run to get away from it all is God and the Word. Get off alone by the Bible. Read. Turn on your lamp and study. And it'll give you good thoughts. My shield. Well, Paul says that's faith. <coughs> <coughs> the shield of faith. Your faith is to be in the Lord. A defense. I hope in thy word. And Titus 2.13 says we have the blessed hope, which is the word, the Lord Jesus Christ. And to the Jew, the word spoke of a Messiah. The word spoke of the redemption of Israel. The word spoke of God loving Israel. And they failed and they sinned because they didn't stay in the word. Depart from me, ye evildoers. And it's a command to those who do want, do not want to do right. Leave me alone. For I will keep the commandments of my God. And he's going to stay by the word of God. And you don't need to tell people to leave you alone. Evil doers. You stay in the word and you do what the word wants you to do. And you, you stay in the, in the light of God. <clears throat> they will eventually leave you. They'll try to mess with you. They'll try to set up snares for you. They'll try anything. Then within time, they will go back to the world and say, and, and you'll just keep on walking. Because you can't mix holiness and unrighteousness, Jesus said. You're going to serve the one or you're going to serve the other. And they will go continue to serve sin while you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Uphold me according unto thy word. Keep me, keep me up. Keep me going. Keep me upright. Keep me standing. That I may live. And let me not be ashamed of my hope. Our hope is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me not be ashamed. Uh, Romans 10 verse 11 says, Do not be ashamed. Hold thou me up. You know, standing. There is no position for a Christian to be laying down unless you're dead. I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. <clears throat> Again, it's being in the word, standing. When you put that armor on, there's no place for laying down. Thou hast trodden down all them that are from their, from thy statutes. Everyone that's done wrong, done against the word of God. When he comes back in the second advent, he's riding upon a horse. So it's going to be literal. <coughs> 
For their deceit is falsehood. Well, deceit is to, is to, to do wrong to somebody. To be false. And he says their deceit is falsehood. It, it's a double false. It's a double charge of deceit. It's not just deceiving somebody. It, it's complete deceiving. Thou put us away all the wicked of the earth like dross. You know, dross is when you multiplize metal to purify it. All the junk floats on the top and you skim it off and you just throw it out. And that's how you make metal pure. And that's what God's going to do one day. He's going to separate the wicked from the, from the righteous. And he's going to cast them off into the lake of fire for all eternity. As those who've done what he told them to do will be in, will be in eternity with him. <clears throat> Therefore I love thy testimonies. All that God has done. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. God is mighty. God can do wonderful and terrible things. Jesus said he can kill you and cast your soul into the lake of fire for all eternity. For a lost, wicked man, he doesn't tremble. He laughs and scoffs. For a guy who loves the word and knows the Bible and studies, he trembles because he knows that the wicked are foolish and they don't know their end. And I am afraid of thy judgments. Now last night we studied that I will keep thy righteous judgments. Teach me thy judgments. <clears throat> In the Old Testament there were sins. You had to do things. You had to bring something. You had to have a contrite heart. You just gonna say I'm sorry, and then <clears throat> that was it. That didn't work. And then there were two sins in the Bible that there was no payment for, for sin. And there were things in the Bible that when you read in the Old Testament it says, and you were to be cut off from your tribe, or be cut off from the land of Israel, or be cut off from from Israel, that meant you died and went to hell. And when you read stories like Sodom and Gomorrah, God placed judgment upon them. God placed judgment upon, upon Babel. God placed judgment upon Adam and Eve for doing wrong. You ought to be afraid of doing wrong and then God having to judge you. For the wrong that you've done. If you do right, then God's not going to judge. But we too often go wrong. We go too often and we sin and rebel against God. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see. The stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee 
How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart, then I shall bow in humble adoration.